Lisa Kids. My name is Sarah and I'm going to introduce to you today's Bible lesson. I'm so happy to be a part of your week. To start off, let me ask you a question. How does God make you strong? So God makes me strong by giving me the armor of God. With the armor of God, I can stand up for what I believe in and fight evil in whatever form that evil may be. This relates to today's Bible lesson. There was a boy named David. David's big brothers were out fighting in King Saul's army and David went to the battlefield to give them food. When David got to the camp, he saw a big tall giant named Goliath. Everyone in the army was so scared of Goliath and didn't want to fight him. So David volunteered to fight Goliath because he knew that God would help him. David wasn't scared because he had on the invisible armor of God. David had on his belt of truth, the armor of godliness, his good news boots, the shield of faith, his helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. When David suited up with all of these, God filled him with the power to win against evil. We can also see this in today's memory verse, which states, Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. That concludes today's Bible lesson. Shall we pray? Hands together and eyes closed. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love your grace, and your mercy. We are weak. We want to take this time to ask you to help us put on the full armor of God so that when we face evil, hardships, or temptations, we will be able to stand our ground. Lord, we pray that you will be with us in our battles and grant us victory according to your will. We praise you and thank you in your precious Son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, as we learned today, we if we have on the full armor of God, we will be able to fight and win against evil. Even though you can't physically see or touch the armor of God, it is more powerful than anything you can see or touch. Isn't that awesome? Now, I don't know where you all are, but wherever you are, God is with you and your family. So don't be discouraged, but continue to trust in God and have hope. I hope all of you have an amazing week. Be sure to stay safe and healthy, okay? I hope to see you again in another time.